COVID cases are rising once again in Wisconsin. This time, the weather may be partly to blame. Joining us, Dr. Bill Hartman, principal investigator for the UW Health Pediatric Moderna vaccine trial that's underway. Dr. Hartman, great to see you. We're seeing the highest number of cases of COVID in almost a year. Deaths are also up. And state health leaders say the falling temperatures may, to, may be to blame. Here, take a listen to this. The weather gets cold as people gather indoors. Um, we see spikes, we see surges of respiratory viral infections in the fall and winter. So um, under the assumption that we don't eliminate this virus, which I think is a safe assumption, it's going to be here for a while. I think it's a safe assumption that transmission is going to increase in the fall and winter. That was Dr. Westgard at a DHS press briefing yesterday. Do you agree with that? Oh, I do agree with that. What Dr. Westergaard is saying is that uh, the, the weather's playing a big factor in the fact that people move inside. You know, it's too cold to be hanging outside. Today was 29 degrees. People gather in, in spaces. The, the safest place you can be when uh, with this virus around, obviously, is outside. And so in the summers, it's spring and fall, early fall, the, the cases aren't going to be as high. But as soon as we move inside, the transmission is much easier for influenza, for COVID-19, uh, and we're going to see a spike in cases. We, we saw this spike last year, and the curve uh, to this point looks very similar to what we saw last year. I thought it was interesting that Dr. Westergaard said he believes COVID is here to stay. Is that your feeling? I do think it's going to be around for a long time. Uh, the, the virus is fighting to, to stay alive. It, it wants to figure out ways to, to infect as many people as it can. And so it's going to continue to mutate uh, until uh, it, it, it burns out. But that is not something that we're seeing right now. We're seeing it uh, able to, to change its structure just enough to become more contagious, infect more people. As long as it can, can, can keep doing this, as long as it can keep mutating, uh, we're, we're gonna see this virus uh, in, our, in our world uh, for quite some time. And if it does stick around, it sounds like we may need boosters. New data seems to show there is waning protection with the COVID-19 vaccines. Now, if we don't get a booster shot, how big is the drop in protection and how often do you think we'll need to get the booster shots? Some of that's uh, dependent on when you got the, the vaccine and which vaccine you got. Uh, the, the data that we have and was, that was presented to the FDA uh, came from Israel, where it's predominantly uh, the, the people are predominantly vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine. And the drop was somewhere all the way down to around 42% protection uh, against catching COVID-19. You're still very well protected against severe disease, hospitalization, and death. But with the, the, the boosters, uh, Pfizer showed in, in a trial of 10,000 people that the immunity protection goes back up to that 95% level. They saw five cases in their uh, boosted population versus 109 cases uh, in the placebo group. Only got like 10 seconds here, but Dr. Hartman, while we have, you got to ask about the Moderna vaccine for kids. I know kids can get the Pfizer vaccine. How's the Moderna looking? Moderna uh, trial is going very well. The, the cases that uh, or the, the, the children that we've uh, used in our trial here, we have not yet seen a case of COVID-19. Uh, these little heroes are stepping up to the plate and they're doing everything they can to get this, uh, this vaccine out to their friends. Are we weeks away, days away from possibly seeing it approved? Or? I would say a, a couple of months, but uh, it's, not, it's not that far off. I would, I would expect sometime in the very beginning of, of 2022. Dr. Bill Hartman, UW Health, appreciate your time.